Welcome to the Homeowner Connector, bringing you the best. Today, I am so excited because I have one of the most knowledgeable lenders I know, Nancy Johnson from Movement Mortgage. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Dia. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining me today from your lovely place. That mm -hmm. is so relaxing. So I'm going to jump right in. Okay. The first question I like to ask is, what is a myth about lending or your profession that people just don't understand? How can you help them understand or overcome a myth? Um, I guess one size does not fit all. Um, one lender may not have all the answers to all the questions or the ability to do all loans. So it is good to kind of investigate and also get referrals. Um, you know, one size does not fit all. Wow. So like even interest rates, if I said, what's the interest rate today, Nancy? Yeah, the interest rates, it, that is such a hard question. Um, simply because interest rates have so much to do with your credit score um, and some other items that you have to do with your loan. It has to do with the product also. The interest rate for you know, a government loan may not be the same as for a conventional loan. Um, and so getting the full picture um, instead of spouting an interest rate uh, ahead of time is, is really the best policy. Right. I would hate to promise someone they could get a loan for 3% and it ends up being almost 5%. Right. Yeah. Not, not good. So that is, that's a very important thing to know. Okay. Second question. Give us two, uh, you can say statistics or two fun facts about getting a mortgage or maybe two terms that you use your job jargon that people don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so I'll give you um, two fun facts. Yeah. Um, one fun fact is that you don't have to have 20% down to get a mortgage. There are Good. still, I know, there are still some people that believe that you have to have 20% down to get a mortgage, and that is simply not true. You can get a mortgage um, um, with first-time home buyers. You can get it with 3% down. Um, USDA is even 0% down. Also is VA 0% down. And there's wow. some other programs out there. So the fact that you don't have 20%, don't let that stop you from reaching out. Um, the other fun fact, I think, is that sometimes people believe they can't get a mortgage because they don't have a job. Um, it's not necessarily that you have to have a job to get a mortgage, is that you have to have income. So sometimes that income comes from social security or retirement or even alimony, child support. There's a lot of different kinds of income. Wow. Well, that is fun. <laughs> I, I, I like that. And yes, I do have people say, well, I don't have 20% down. Now, if you do have 20% down, that means you don't have to pay your mortgage interest, right? Mortgage insurance. Insurance. Yep. And, and the, contrary to the, the sound of the word, it's not insuring you for anything. It does absolutely no good. It does the bank good. But there's many different ways to pay for that mortgage insurance. Um, like you can, and this is where a good loan officer comes in handy. So if you were to tell me that you were only going to live there for like three years and you're only putting 3% down, I certainly would advise that you would do lender paid mortgage insurance instead of like a line item. So, and there, you can pay for mortgage insurance up front and get a discount. Um, there's many different ways to pay for it. But yeah, you do have to have 20% into your mortgage or you will be paying some type of mortgage insurance. Well, maybe that's why people think you have to have 20% down. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we've already learned a number of tips, but do you have three tips you'd like to share about getting a mortgage? I do. So um, my very first tip I give a lot of people, a lot of especially young people, um, is go pull your own credit first. Go to annualcreditreport.com and get your own credit report. Everybody's so stuck on credit scores and credit scores are nice to have, but it's also very important that you dig into your credit report, look at it fully, make sure that everything that's on there is yours 
And, um, and it also gives you a great tip on what you're doing with your credit that helps and what you're doing with your credit that hurts. So um, main thing to help out your credit um, that's the next tip is come to the table with the highest credit score that you possibly can. Mm. Um, one of those is, is keeping your credit cards paid down. Don't ever close them out, but pay them okay. down as much as you possibly can and never use your credit card over 30% usage. A lot of people will go, oh, but I pay my credit card off every month. But you know what? If your high limit on that credit card is only $1,000 and you know, you um, spent $990 that month, even though you're paying it off, doesn't matter when I pull your credit and you have, you're at maxed out on that credit card, you're, you're, you have drove your credit score down. Um, and that's going to cost you in, um, interest rates as we discussed before, but also mortgage insurance, mortgage insurance. If you're not putting that 20% down, mortgage insurance is very, um, uh, sensitive to credit score. Um, the other thing that I would like to mention, my third one um, kind of is don't have a bunch of people pull your credit. Um, if a lender's pulling your credit, more than likely they're doing a hard pull. It would years and years ago when all of us lenders used the same, um, uh, I want to say outlet for credit, um, you could, it, it was true that you can pull as many times, you know, in 30 days. That mm -hmm. is not necessarily true anymore. That is a myth. So if you're sitting and I had somebody do this on a lazy boy and having, you know, a bunch of people pull their credit to get the lowest interest rate, you unfortunately may have um, been your own worst enemy because now your score's lower and you're not going to get that best credit. It's always good to shop, but, right. you know, maybe pick three, three, pick three people, go with somebody's recommendation. Um, you know, kind of like if you're going to have brain surgery, go to somebody who has been recommended. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like um, Nancy Johnson with mm -hmm. Movement Mortgage. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask for a bonus tip because I know you have some horror stories about oh. what people have done when they've gotten all excited, the loan has gone through, they're gonna get to have their house, and then what happens? Oh, my very favorite actually happened to a, a friend of mine, I was doing her loan, and you know, I kept telling her all along, you know, don't go out and buy a car, because that'd be something just like she would do. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we, as lenders, we're gonna check your employment, make sure you haven't quit your job, and we're going to soft pull your credit to make sure you haven't went go out and like bought a car. Well, true to form, two days before her closing date, I got an alert come across for credit, and it was an installment for twenty four thousand dollars. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So I call my friend up on the phone and I go, I thought I told you don't buy a car, and she just like, well, what do you mean? I didn't buy a car. Like, what is this $24,000 installment here? I went to Restoration Hardware and bought furniture. I'm like, oh my gosh. So fortunately for her, we was able to get it turned back around into underwriting and get her closed on time. But it was hairy. And if she had been more close to her DTI or debt to income, it might have derailed her loan completely. Oh, wow. So please... It's, yes. so it's not done until the fat lady sings or until you get keys in your hand. So wait oh. till you get keys in your hand and then go ahead and, you know, buy that furniture or buy that car. Perfect. 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 Okay. Last question. And thank you so much. These have been such good answers, Nancy of Movement Mortgage. What do you love about your job? Oh, I do. I love my job a lot. I love being able to interact with agents and help them out. I used to be an agent a long, long, long time ago. So I kind of know the, um, the fears of putting in that offer and how to help agents with that. Mm -hmm. But I like puzzles. So I like being able to get a challenge and figure it out and make it work. Um, so I do get a lot of rescue loans and people do come to me for that when somebody else hasn't been able to 
close that loan. I've been able mm. to figure it out, restructure it, whatever needs to be done and get it closed. But um, that's the part I like is taking something that nobody else could make work and make it work. And Nancy, I know that people are going to want to be able to get in touch with you. And I'm mm -hmm. going to share on the screen how to reach you. What is your favorite way that people can reach out to you? My favorite way is either um, phone call first. I love to talk to people and um, I'd much rather do that than, a, than an email. Or, but if that's what is convenient for you, email is fine. And I text. I text a lot. So um, my phone number is 919-607-8739. You can always reach me through there. And I can also uh, send to you, once you've sent me your phone number, I can send you my app. Um, that also has Dia on there too. And it has a handy dandy little uh, uh, blue or gray bar at the bottom that has a scanner on there. And it also has um, calculators on there for, um, to figure out purchase and refinance and so forth. Awesome, awesome. Well, great. Well, again, Nancy, it's been so wonderful to have you here today. And thank you for all this valuable information you've brought us. Thank you, Dia. Okay, bye now. Bye.